What's up guys, Black and Oli here coming to you with another League of Legends video fresh off the PBE is the highly anticipated Celestial Dragon Aurelion Soul. This is supposed to be Ao Shin, but he was scrapped and this is his replacement, so welcome. Say hi. He's a beautiful looking champion, one of the most aesthetically designed probably ever in the League of Legends, and he commands the galaxy, he commands the stars. He's an all-powerful being. And we're here to give you a look into what he looks like, what he does, how he works, and all that wonderful, wonderful nonsense. So, starting off, we're just chilling the fountain here. We're gonna do some, some taunts and some abilities, some emotes. So he just creates matter, destroys it. It's like nothing, everything is his plaything. Puts on sunglasses? What a baller. Makes his own light show because he's a boss. How cool is that? Now the only disappointing thing is how tiny he is, only because in the trailer he was depicted as something that was as big as a mountain, if not bigger. Maybe he was just uh, sh shrinking down his power so that mere mortals like us could understand what the what the hell was going on. But apparently that's not the case. So he's in the rift now. Even though he is smaller size, he's still pretty beautiful. So we're gonna go over each one of his abilities, and we'll see how it affects champions. We'll see his death animation, all that good shit. I missed last video. I'm here to make it up to you because I love you. I love you so much, all right? First of all, his passive is center of the universe. So as you can see, he's got these three circles surrounding him, these stars, and they'll constantly do damage to enemies that pass through them. No matter how you arrange yourself, they're in a fixed location. So you're not gonna be able to do more than a set damage per second unless your enemy is walking into them <laughs> counterclockwise or flashes or whatever. So they'll always be there, they're persistent, and if you're CC'd at all, anything that stops you from casting, they're gonna go away momentarily. His Q is called Star Search. So you create a little core here, it's the center of the universe, and it gives you a little bit of movement speed. Once it reaches the end of its AOE zone, it explodes and it will stun people caught in the AOE. So I'm gonna put on normal cast for everything. You can see the range of this, pretty medium range. So when you start it, you want to lead into it. So as soon as you start, you want to keep going. And as soon as it reaches the outside point, it can keep going, it'll get bigger, it'll stun for a big, big, big ass area. His W is the celestial expansion. It takes his passive and it makes it way bigger and it goes faster. Now, while this is on, this is going to deplete mana, so you're not going to be able to keep it on forever. Toggling it off will trigger a short cooldown. Now, while that ability is on, it'll trigger all spell effects, spell vamp, slows if you got Rylai's the whole nine yards. So it's a great way of clearing the wave, uh, doing consistent damage to enemies, and just being the celestial star god that you are. His E is called Comet of Legend. Now passively, this thing is going to give you extra move speed while you move in a straight line. Now you're not gonna see that passive collect because I've already got it stacked up. But what's gonna happen once you get it all stacked up, you're gonna be able to move in a large zone. And you're gonna travel over terrain, go through all walls and obstacles until you reach your point. Now there'll be a little dot at the end of the point to let enemies know where you're gonna show up because counterplay is important within League of Legends. Now, while the ability is on cooldown, while you're moving in a straight line, you're gonna build up stacks. See, hey, I'm moving a little bit faster. You got those effects on me. Now, if you're moving in a straight line, you will get increased move speed. And as soon as you make a sharp turn, you will lose that extra movement speed. But that's the bonus that it gives you while you move in a straight line. Increasingly vamp move speed. Now, once you hit 100 stacks on the ability, you'll be able to use the ability and shift through time and space all fast and celestial-like. Now, his R is called Voice of Light. Now, you just breathe out a whole bunch of energy and it slows people and it knocks people away to the range of outer limit. So, it's like a get the fuck out of here move. So that's good. Seems to be a disruptor, constant AOE damage dealer. And there's nothing in his kit that does a ludicrous amount of damage. Um, he doesn't have any innate, you know, defenses in his kit except for the stun. So it's very important that you build tanky, tanky AP. I mean, you could go glass cannon, but I don't think that's the optimal build for him. 
So that's Aurelion Soul's abilities. Let's go over and see how they affect champions. And you can see how this works. I'm super excited for this champion. So I'll be right back after these messages. All right, guys, welcome back. We found a Leona, a wild Leona. Hey, Grom, stop it. Stop it. Go away. Get out of here. See, being a celestial being means that you attract lower beings of nature. Anyway, so while standing in this zone, there's this auto attack animation. He just spits really disrespectful. That's disgusting. As I extend the star field, does constant damage at an increased rate. Go ahead and cancel it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how this, this combination of Star Surge and Comet of Legend will work. So while you're moving straight, lead with Q. Uh, you, that, that gives you that extended time when you're traveling straight, and this bonus will increase as you level up. Also, the range that you can phase through objects will, will level up as you level E. You can also reactivate the Q early to deal the damage without waiting to get to the end of Outer Limit. Now, when you're done with your enemies, you don't feel like dealing with them anymore. You just, just go, just go to mid lane. See you later, guys. Now, if Aurelian Soul takes any damage while in this phase shift mode, he will stop. So you gotta be careful. Make sure it's clear to go, and you're all gravy. We're gonna head back to Leona, because I'm all about the sun. Dan I feel like Diana should be here. The moon should be involved also. Now his ultimate ability. Just gonna knock Leona back. Now he's already at the outside range of my outer limit, so he's, she was not going to go any further. It's great ability to use if you're up in close, you got a whole bunch of enemies together, get the five man stun, and then just blah, just knock them away like they owed you money or something like that. So that's it. That's Aurelion Soul. He's got an awesome fire skin as well. I'm going to show you his death animation because you guys like to see champions die before the end. Back into the abyss you shall go. And when he leaves, he leaves a constellation of himself. That's pretty cool. Anyway, guys, the next video is going to be on the fire version of Aurelion Soul. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more League of Legends news and content. It's your boy, Black Enola. I'll see you guys next video. Stay sexy. Yes. Yes.